I actually don't have a formal background in science. I uh, went to school for graphic design. I attended an art school. I uh, worked at an advertising agency for a number of years. But back in 2008, I was watching this great documentary called When We Left Earth. And it was this amazing documentary about NASA during the early days and how they were trying to figure out how to send people into space. And I became so incredibly inspired by this documentary that I decided to randomly send uh, someone at NASA an email, someone I had never met, saying that I was a huge fan of what they were doing and um, if they ever needed someone like me, uh, that I was around. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a geeky fangirl moment, and I didn't expect to hear back. But serendipitously, I was able to get a job at NASA from that email, and it completely changed my life. And so uh, I, I got that chance, and I, it really changed my perspective of NASA from being rocket scientists to more like being space hackers. Uh, that they weren't like these people that knew everything, they were people hacking things and people figuring it out as they went along. Um, and so I got to work at NASA, and I got to, it was like getting paid to go to school. I, I got to learn about dark matter and robots and all different things. But one of the most important things I ended up learning while I worked at NASA was that actually I didn't even need to work at NASA to explore space. And so I left. <laughs> and I created a spacehack.org, which is a directory of ways to participate in space exploration. So this is anything people can do with or without a formal science background to actively contribute to space exploration and scientific discovery. So anything from discovering galaxies to building Mars rovers and, and the like. So some of the projects on spacehack.org are ones like this one. This is uh, the Austrian Space Forum, which is an organization that's trying to generate research that could help people one day go to Mars. The thing that's cool about the Austrian Space Forum though is that they want volunteers from all different disciplines from all different places around the world to sort of help uh, generate more research. So you could be a lawyer, you could be a writer, you could be a social media specialist, what have you. They want and they want and need people from all different sorts of disciplines to sort of help uh, them generate all this research and to do a lot of um, exploratory science. Another project on spacehack.org, which is quite fun, is uh, Galaxy Zoo Radio. And Galaxy Zoo Radio is a, an online uh, website where you can go in and you can look for black holes. And you might actually be able to discover black holes through it. But what's really cool is that if you actually discover a black hole or anything else through this site, your name actually goes onto a scientific paper. So you're not just doing work that some scientist is going to take credit for, you're actually doing work that gets accredited to, to you.